Yo, what's up guys? It's Delevator here. We are at the Delta Flight Museum. Um, and I mean, we've already just got here, so we're just getting started. But as you can see, when you first come in, you got this MD-80. Like right over here. And then you got the big thing right over here with the 74400. And you got the 75 way over there. We're gonna go visit some of these. We're gonna go visit some of these and uh, see what's what's happening with it. And then they also got a hangar behind us over here. We're gonna go visit those and see what's up. So we made it inside. We're gonna check it out and go up into the thing right now. Chilling up here in first class. What? This is nice. Got your little light and everything. I've never been up here. It's the first time I've ever been in the 7 4, so this is pretty cool. Up here in the front, man, first class. I don't know what to think about this. Get your little galley right here. Look. Every time I look at, come up here, I've been told to, you know, get out of here. It's little carts and stuff, like food carts and stuff. Nerds. Shut that up. See, this is normally my section. This is typically my section, if I'm flying. It's so crazy how much room is inside of this thing with the seats taken out. We gotta make sure we go up top too. Oh no, I'm saying we gotta make sure we go up top on the second floor. It's so crazy. How much like it's just it's just it's weird being in a plane without having any seats in it and as big as this one is. Like it's massive. Absolutely massive in here. Look, this is the uh, the crew the crew rest area. This is the crew rest area up here. It's a little dark. There's glass up here, but. I don't know if you guys even see this, but yeah. Ooh, tight fit, tight fit. So the one that we are in is November 401 Papa Whiskey. First flight was April 29th, 1988. 376 passengers, two pilots, 11 flight, flight attendants. Oh man. This so last flight was 2015, so it flew, flew a while. Last flight was Honolulu, Atlanta, retired after logging 61 million miles and carrying 4.9 million passengers. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Check this out. 1989, I had a picture of when it was when this plane was uh, delivered to uh, Northwest. I don't know if it'll come through. Let's see. Not 
this one, but this is the same plane. This is this part. 1989 when it was delivered. I'm going to go out here to the wing walk. You want to go over here? Go out here to this wing walk and check it out. Alright, so I'm coming out here to this wing walk where you can check out the whole... Golly, it's right out here. Just how massive these wings are. pretty neat just how big this thing is I've never seen one up close so I don't know if you guys will be able to see if it'll come through on this on this lens but you can see these planes taking off really quick it's literally like right here beside Atlanta like right here we're gonna go check out this 75 we're not gonna be able to go in it I actually I don't even know if we can go near it but there's a 7.5 right over here that we can just look at. Pretty cool plane, old livery. All right, we're going up top here. We're going into the uh, upper staircase wall. This is uh, different. As you can see, the cockpit's over there. They got the sound coming through. It sound it, it's not APU. It sounds like they got like ground power hooked up, which is crazy. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty neat up here at the top. Like, going up here into the cabin. This is the pilot's rest area right here. I don't know if it's gonna come through. A little tight, but. Right here behind the uh, right here behind the cockpit, and you got the uh, the bathroom, the lavatory, the lavatory. Then we step into the cockpit, which is absolutely ah, no. wild. My son is trying to go fly the plane, so we're up here in the cockpit. I don't know. If, I don't know what came through a second ago without it being blurry. But up here in the cockpit, it's super hot. But it, you know, I never realized exactly how small. Like this area really is. I'm six foot, six foot one, and I, I mean, like my head is right. It's, it's, it's fixing to hit, which is crazy. I'll give you guys a look at the cockpit here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very tight though. I'm very surprised. Emergency exit up here emergency exit so it's pretty neat uh, sit in one of the seats that they have set up to the side I don't know is this seat actually here is this a real seat I don't really know I don't really know if this is a real seat or not but you guys can see here it's the old school you know engineering engineer seat um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is this is very very cool. I mean, if I could turn this thing on, I would. Just to give you guys a view about how high we actually are, check this out. All right, we're leaving the top deck now. So, let's see what else we have in the store. I didn't get a chance to sit in one of these in like normal seats, so I'm gonna try that out. I never realized exactly how tight like these seats are in here. Like, I mean, my legs are barely moving right now. Copilot over there's got it made. Okay, so now we're back underneath the plane again. It's so cool. So cool. Look how, I mean, look. Look at these things. I know they're off the they're off the ground a little bit, but it's so massive. Such a big tire. Give you guys how 
an example of just how big some of this stuff is. It's, that's like that's my big thing when I'm doing this is how big that this this plane is. I, I just I've never realized I know they were big, but I never realized exactly how big. Just give y'all one last look at the seven four as we're walking away. Okay, so we're done with the 7.4 exhibit. We're gonna go over here and check out this MD-80. I definitely wanna check this thing out. Uh, you can't go in it, unfortunately, but we're at least gonna go check it and uh, look around a little bit. Okay, so my fault, it's not an MD-80. It is actually a DC-9. So, yeah, I, I, you know, y'all know me. I don't, I'm not the best with this stuff. I enjoy it, but I don't know about stuff like that, man. Again, there's all sorts of planes taking off and landing behind us over here at Atlanta, so yeah. Okay, so we're done with the outside exhibits. We're gonna walk inside of the big old classic hangar that they have here and uh, see what it has to offer. So from what I understand, going in here, there are a lot of classic planes and, you know, original uh, Delta planes, I guess is the right word. But yeah, we're finna go in here and check it out. All right, so walking up, you can see this old classic DC-7. This thing is, uh, this thing's really cool. Really, really cool. Look at these old propellers and stuff, man. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like just for, I don't have the biggest hand in the world, but just for comparison purposes, like, look how big that is compared to my hand. It's classic. I wish we can see inside of it. It kind of sucks, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I got an old classic Delta truck right here, you know, that, that they used. Pretty cool. There's a lot of flight attendants and all that. All right, November 4887 Charlie is uh, this one's tail code. Pretty cool. I just noticed I've said pretty cool a lot. I don't know if I need to chill out with that or not, but that's all so cool to me. You know, it's so cool to me. It says the Golden Crown DC-7 Delta Airlines. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat to see. It's you know I I, I always enjoyed you know aircraft anyway, but like this is pretty cool. everyone what it looks like inside of the wheel well of these things let me show you real quick I know this one's old but like guys don't don't climb up in these things please you know you're not gonna make it bro you're not gonna make it just just don't do it The amount of engineering that goes into these things is really cool. Alright, we're going into the actual museum now, so we're gonna check it out and see what it what it has. Alright, we just paid, we're coming into the classic hangar right now. Check this out. Yeah. Old classic DC-3. It's pretty cool. Check this out. Old propeller engine. Okay, so after you leave that little propeller thing, like the pistons, they come over here and they got a y'all pitch and roll, like how to control, how it shows how what happens when you turn the wheel and stuff. It's pretty cool. You can see my son do it, a co pilot. You got an old uh, 
an old uh, classic duster, I guess this is, hanging from the ceiling. see the front of this DC-3 right here. They actually have like a uh, augmented reality that you can do and check it out yourself too. It's pretty cool to, uh, to see. Check this out over here. This thing was made April 11th of 1931. That's how old this plane is. It's the Delta Travel Air SB Sedan. Like you can see here, you got these little mannequins trying to, you know, climbing in it. There's no way those seats are comfortable. No way. You come up over here. Get different, uh, Different eras uh, memorabilia memorabilia did I say that right memorabilia different uh, different stuff so Going into the chairman's club. Looks like a theater. All right, let's check that out. So we just came out of the, uh, I guess, theater, and I didn't want to show you guys all that stuff because it was kind of hard to read to show anyway on camera. But basically, giving a, a background on what Delta is, the widget, and all that stuff, and how you know what all it means and stuff like that. So that was a uh, that was interesting. That was some pretty cool stuff. I didn't know about that. Some of the the, what the widget represents and all that, so. All right, so we're gonna go into this Fly Delta Jets tunnel, head over to the, uh, to the actual Jets. Inside the tunnel, so cool. Here we go. Classic 767, old old uh, old livery too. Okay, so we got the uh, Convair 880 uh, little cockpit right here that they've cut. And you can uh, actually go up and check it out and see. Look at the inside of it. Get the 
tiller over there to the left. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. But pretty cool. Engineering station. We got some old, uh, some more old stuff, which is shockingly everything's old in here, which is really cool though because it all, you know, looks brand new. An old engine there too. Tech Ops tricycle. They use these to move hangar to hangar, evidently is what it says. This is a DC-8 engine right here. Wow. Pratt, we need JT-3D3 from a Delta Douglas DC-8. Wow, four of these. Four of these. Four of those would, uh, what happened to my camera here? There it is. Four of those would get, uh, get everybody in there. Get everybody safely. It's hard when the light is behind me to be able to get a good shot. But I want, to, I want to do the best I can. So Lockheed L1011 looks like chairs from there. We'll do, these things look a lot more comfortable than what we, use, what we have nowadays, I think. They look a little bit more comfortable. I had to look, do some research, but I'm pretty sure a 767 was the very first plane that I ever flew on. So I'm definitely going to check. have to go in there and look at it. Okay, so one of the really cool things that you guys can see right here, they actually have a level D simulator, a uh, 73 simulator, I believe it is. You can see somebody's in it right now. Oh, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but with the light, I might, I might try and get another better shot. I might try and get another better shot right here, but here's the old, uh, looks like an Airbus. Airbus cockpit right here for you guys. So it looks like you can go up here and look at the uh, what the simulator is seeing. So we're gonna check it out and see what they're looking like. See if see how they're doing. Let me read their landing. All right, so they're coming in. Looks like oh, he's coming in to the right. Ooh. Oh. It's like one of my landings, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Wow. We got the old Lockheed L1011 fuselage. We can't go in it, unfortunately, but we can at least check it out and uh, get some good pictures of it. Okay, so we're going into uh, into the 767 now. You got the old little classic jetway controls and all that. So we're gonna see, see what it is here. Stinks in here though. Ooh. I'm gonna stop right here. 767 cockpit. Stinks in here, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's like old leather.
I mean, I don't know, but this song was Delta's like budget airlines. So, yeah, they, they don't. It's not. It didn't last very long. I think it's like three years or something. More flight attendant uniforms as we walk out, walk back towards the front. And this was one of the very first planes that I've flown, flown on. It was such a short flight, too. I'm sitting here, and this is a seat on the way back. But, yeah, pretty comfy seat. Before we walk out of here, I want to sit in one of these normal seats because if they're anything like the other one, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. These are a little bit more comfortable. These are a little bit more comfortable than the other ones I sat on the 747. I got a little bit more room in here. I don't think they make them like this anymore, though. All right, we're gonna walk out of here now. Head out. That's Molly, the stewardess. As we head out, we're gonna duck her head because I'm six foot tall and I'll fall, hit my head, do all that good stuff. All right, well, I think that just about wraps up our little, our little tour here of uh, this flight museum. So we're gonna wrap it up and uh, appreciate you guys for watching. We're gonna head on out of here and head to the hotel room. So. We'll see you guys for the next video, man. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe and, you know, hit that notification bell as well. So, maybe, uh, maybe you guys will see the next one. We'll find another flight museum to go visit. 